And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere really building up nicely, we should be in for a terrific contest. It's Portugal versus Argentina. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Joao Cancelo starts with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Joao Moutinho in central midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Cristiano Ronaldo. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Lionel Messi starts with Angel Di Maria on the flanks. And leading the line, Lautaro Martinez. And the match begins. Rodrigo Javier de Paul. Oh, he's given it away. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Moutinho. Well, we love to watch Bernardo Silva whenever we get the chance. What kind of performance might we see from him in this one, Stuart? Well, Derek, we know he loves linking up with other players, but it's when he's in and around the penalty area, that's when he's at his most dangerous, when he plays little one-twos around his marker and then plays the next forward pass into a runner. He could be the key to unlocking this defence. Poor pass. Marcos Acuna, Di Maria now, and return to Di Maria, Messi, an early goal, it is the ideal opening. Well, let's take another look, and I'm not sure what the keeper was thinking there, just look at his position, he made it far too easy for him to score. is moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be might be able to produce from this position good looking sequence Jota They're making high pressing work for them here this looks interesting
Well, they won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Lionel Messi well, just couldn't keep the ball Otavio it's with Joao Cancelo Bernardo Silva and in with a real chance they've only gone and grabbed another one two goals in quick succession now they have the lead no wonder they're celebrating Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. He saw the situation developing. Lo Celso. De Powell. Going well. And the keeper's hand does the trick. Possession lost. Well, that's a pass of high quality. And he's done it. Parity again. A magnificent game unfolding. Well, here we can see it again. And it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So underway again. And it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece in this one. Otavio. Joao Cancelo. Possession and patience, the watchwords. And a timely intervention. Paredes. Here's Lo Celso. Lionel Messi. Messi. Well, possibilities in the centre. Portugal have control of the ball again here. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. Ruben Diaz. Diogo Jota. On to Silva. Bernardo Silva sliding it through. Silva. He could pick out a teammate. Ronaldo. And the keeper showing tremendous command. They take it short. Bruno Fernandes. 
And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Guerrero. Could be. Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. And over it comes. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Romero moving the ball effectively Messi and the cross is very much on and there's the feed into the box and he failed to get it away properly and the flag does go up offside Silva Bruno Fernandes has it. And space for them here on the flank. Joao Cancelo. Crossing opportunity. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, a save right out of the top drawer. Superstop. Di Maria. Messi. Montiel. Martinez on to De Paul. Martinez and the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger well an opportunity here for them to get their noses in front from the corner they will now make use of their substitutes bench Trying to pick out a teammate and clears the danger. Lo Celso could be dangerous. Looking for that final pass, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And the finish is clinical. Hitting it cleanly beyond the keeper. That's a good goal. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Well, neutrals are getting their money's worth. 3-2 in this match. Diogo Jota. Well, moving the ball impressively here. Guerrero. Bernardo Silva. It's there for him. Shot blocked, but still alive. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Di Maria. Well, as you can see, Argentina have found it difficult to control the tempo of the game here. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. Pepe. It's with Joao Cancelo. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. That's not a bad ball. Oh, that's really high-class goalkeeping. But the offside flag has gone up and it grinds to a halt. A 
Otamendi. It's with Dybala. Rodrigo Javier de Paul. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Marcos Acuna. It's with Paredes. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Just 15 minutes remaining. Well, these fans are right behind the team here. Can they get the equaliser, though? It did look on for them, but not to be. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Oh, is he going to be punished here? Putting his body on the line. Well, as we approach full time, we have to say, playing away from home hasn't been a problem for them. Can they see it out? Stuart, your thoughts? Well, their attacking play has been excellent today. However, by throwing so many players forward, they've looked vulnerable at the back, which is why this will be a nervy finish. They just need to hold on here. Dybala. Messi. And space for the cross. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Well, he prevented it from going over the line. Guerrero. On the ball, Ruben Dias. Bruno Fernandes. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Well, do they have a goal on their future? They're giving it a go. Shot again from the flag. Making sure nothing untoward happened. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Can they keep it going? Marcos Acuna. Messi. Has a go! Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. And so the referee blows for full time and it goes down as a victory for the visitors. Absolutely, Derek. It was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, he gave that back line.